So I'm shooting a short video about the car, the Cuda. It's funny how you uh, stick the outside sheet metal on it and all of a sudden it stops looking like a pile of uh, raw tin and you recognize it mentally for something. So, of course, all of it's held on with C-clamps and vice grips and, and sheet metal screws. But I am trying to get from the door back assembled so that I have some dimensional points that I can come back to. Um, this, this piece here isn't gonna move, so I can set the quarters to that. And right now this piece isn't coming out, so again, I can set the quarter to that. And that basically lets me run the car all the way out to the ass and get the trunk lid to fit in the gap, which, is, which isn't too bad. Actually, I've probably owned cars that fit together worse than this and drove them around and thought it was swell. Still have to put the lower balance on it just to make sure that there isn't any real, you know, that I don't have some surprise. I get all that done, then I can, I'll end up taking a bunch of it back off because I've still got all the inside sheet metal work to do. But a lot of this is just so that I can get a good dimension for the, uh, the inner quarters. I mean the inner uh, and outer wheel housings, which I'm gonna have to cut out of the car. The other thing I'd mention is I've been working on the uh, four link setup. I cut the floor out so I wouldn't have to sit under the car. Huh. One of the great advantages that uh, you get when you're going to replace all the sheet metal. This is uh, looking pretty good right now. The Just for mock-up purposes, these are stock length lower control arms bolted to the stock leaf spring mounting point. And uh, this is ride height, probably at its lowest in the car. So I've still got about two inches left. I've got to find out what a reasonable upper link uh, control arm angle would be for the car. I'm gonna take my Oldsmobile and look at it and see what it is. That's a great thing. I have a GMA body to use as a pattern. And of course I have a stock rear suspension lowered but stock rear suspension um, 70 e body to use as a reference also so it's, it's really nice to have both of them laying around so that's it lots of little holes to drill lots more shit to cut off probably shoot some more pictures from time to time of all that but it's uh rinse and repeat mostly there you go